So can we go over how to fish wiring or repair plumbing in a wall that has retro foam inside in 30 seconds? I think so. For fishing wire through, you do it the same as any other wall, whether you're using fish tape or a fish rod, you're gonna push or pull that wire up or down as if the foam was not even there. Retro foam will provide very little resistance, if any, when you're fishing wire up and down a wall. For repairing plumbing, same thing. You're gonna have to most likely take some drywall out to open up the area. If you have to take out chunks of the foam, it will not give resistance at all. In fact, it may fall out when you're cutting out drywall. So again, approach it like you would any other wall. Now your actual project or repair will likely take longer than 30 seconds, but at least now I hope you see that retro foam won't make it any more complicated. Now, if you wanna learn more about retro foam or building science in general, click our link below to our learning center where we have tons of videos, articles, and blogs, everything you need to know to make your home more comfortable and energy efficient. This is the Professor Foam reminding you that building is a science.